Hi, today's workout is Pilates Reformer. We are doing lying exercise series today. So most of the time we stay laid down on the back or on the side. But it doesn't mean easy. We are doing diverse exercises from beginner level through advanced level. Let's get started. So we have two red springs on the reformer, two heavy springs on. We're gonna lay down and we're gonna do some stretch to begin with. Okay, so first we're gonna do figure pose stretch. So put your right ankle over your left knee and gently pull your left knee from the back of your thigh and using the hands and Pull, pull, pull. Then at the same time, you intentionally press this right knee away from your chest. Okay, you can use your hand or you can just create tension by yourself. And breathe. You must feel stretch on your back and inner thigh. And just breathe and gently pull your left knee towards your chest. Exhale, pull a little bit more. Good, then put your rest of down and switch side. Same thing, but same time, make sure your hips are not uneven. So just keep your pelvis square as possible and gently pull your right knee and breathe. Your left knee is pretty away from the, your chest because you're creating the tension to have more stretch. And gently pull and exhale. One more big breathing. And pull, 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 pull. And relax. Put your right foot down under the foot bar, left foot, keep on your foot bar. Then open your arms to the side and bring both knees towards your right, then look at your left. Switch out the back and side. Breathe. Coming back to the center, switch your feet, then lower your knees towards your left and look at your right. Breathe. Reach your sit bone towards the foot bar side. Breathe. Good, and coming back to the center. Okay, then you're gonna put your heels or arches on the foot bar, your legs are aligned. Second and third toes, middle of your ankle, kneecap, and your hip bone in line. Your legs are nice. Your hip please. Okay, then you're not touching the shoulder rest with your shoulders. Your fingertips are nicely long on the mat, your elbows are rest. Okay, then bring your chin slightly towards your chest. You have a nice neutral position on your back. Then as you exhale, we're gonna do pelvic tilt. Pull your navel and sink down your lower back, then curl your pubic bone towards your nose. Then inhale, come back to the starting position, neutral, okay? Exhale, pull your navel in. Same, meanwhile, your knees are nicely reaching up. Don't feel out of bringing it in. And inhale, relax. Exhale, pull your navel in. Really elongate your tailbone. Then curl up your pubic bone. And relax. Two more like that. Tilt your pelvis nicely, using, activating your core muscle. And inhale, relax. Exhale, pull. Nicely tilt. Then inhale, relax. Then we're gonna do pelvic lift. Pull your navel and tuck your tail under and peel off your spine and lift your hips up. Your legs are nicely aligned. 
and in so then top of your shoulder blades stay down on the mat inhale at the top and exhale slowly lower down elongate your spine take your time to put it put the butter bread down one by one then find your neutral position again pull your navel into your tail under and lift your hips up nicely so just a little bit stretch out front hips inhale and exhale slowly slowly lower down use your breathing cycle to nicely smoothly move your body again pull your neck when you tuck your tail under and lift your hips up still engage a little bit your inner thighs then Inhale and exhale slowly, slowly lower down. Try not to push the carriage away. Again, inhale and exhale, nicely lifting up and stay here. Halfway lower your hips down as you inhale, then exhale, lifting up, squeeze your good. Inhale, lower, hinge out your hips, then exhale, tighten your butt and up. Inhale down, exhale up. Four more. Good. Three. Tighten. Two. And one more. And lifting up. Then now squeeze the butt and pose your butt. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Squeeze. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly. Elongate your spine, feel a nice articulation of the spine and roll back down, then find your neutral position. Okay. Again, pull your navel into your tail and keep your back of your head nicely attached, then lift your butt up. Then now we're gonna tilt the pelvis to the side. So first you're gonna to the uh, left side of your pelvis down and the right right side is coming up then coming back to the center but you're not shifting your butt you're just keep your uh, your midline the same position and just to tilt inhale then exhale come up inhale tilt exhale come up without swinging too much your butt okay just make sure your core cool, engage diagonally and also keep your knees reaching up same way not opening not tilting and just tilt your pelvis inhale tilt exhale center inhale tilt exhale center breathe good and one more each side center tilt and center and slowly as you exhale Lower your hips down, 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 and find your neutral position. Good. Bring your knees into your chest. Just relax your back. You can lift your head up. Make a kind of like egg pose. Good. Then now put your toes on the foot bar. We're going to do the like, uh, foot work. So, if you need, you're gonna just lift your headrest up. Okay. All right. So still keep your legs parallel, and then press the carriage out. Okay. Then lower your heels down. Breathe. Just stretch out your calf. Okay. And as you inhale, lift. Exhale, come back in. Again, inhale, press out. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back. We're gonna do three more like that. Lower your heels down, lift. Keep your toes soft, not gripping too much on the football. Lift and come back in. Last one, press out and lower your heels down. Then inhale, lift your heels up and stay. Then bring your right knee into the tabletop. We're gonna do single leg footwork here. So keep your left heel up, okay? Then bend your left knee and reach your right leg over the foot bar. Okay, so keep your legs aligned, then bend. Okay, then 
just we're gonna kind of like walking or walking okay bench your right knee nicely tabletop but without hiking your hips good control so pushing down your navel good then now reach then keep your right leg straight then reaching up and halfway lower without touching the bar just a control still keep your left heel up then left leg aligned okay then keep your weight in the center breathe and two more good then now lift your right leg up Okay, then now flex both heels, then lift, uh, pointing. Flex both ankles and point your toes. Flex and point. Three, two, and one. Flex, then point. Then bring your right knee to your chest. Then lower your left heel down. A nice stretch. Okay. Then only your left heel lifting up and down. Good. And three, two, and one. Lower your left heel down. Then make a circle with your right ankle. Three, two, one. And reverse the circles. Breathe. Three two, one. Okay, then lift your left heel up, put your hands down, put your right foot on the foot bar. We're gonna just switch side. Left leg, table top. Okay, keep your right heel up, then reach and bring back table top. Make sure your right leg is nicely aligned. Your knee is just tracking in the same like straight, well, breathe. Keep pushing down your navel. Make sure your pelvis are even. Three, two, tighten your core and reach. Then now left leg straight and reaching up. Breathe, good. Nice, and four. Keep both sits bone reaching towards the foot bar and now lifting up. Then both heels flexing and point. Lower your heel, left right heel down and point. Flex your ankles and point your toes. Three, two, and one. And point, then bring your left knee to your chest. Then lower your right heel down. Just gently hold your left knee. Then on your right ankle point and flex. Point and flex. Three, two, and one. Then now lower your right heel down. Then circling your left ankle. Breathe. Three two, one, and reverse. Nicely, gently. Good. Three, two, and one. Great. Then put your hands down, lift your heels up, and both toes are down on the foot bar. Then have Pilates V. Okay, heels together. Okay, knees out wide. Okay, then just press out. Breathe. Good. Okay, just kick out. Nicely. So you keep your tailbone completely down. Then now, while press out, you can bring your right leg next, right toes next to your left knee. Okay, then when you come back, just reach your right leg out. And in. And out. Breathe. Good. Keep your left heel up. Nice. Good. And three, two, 
and one, reach out, then now keep your right leg straight and lifting up. Then halfway lower down, diagonally. Control, without hiking your hips. Good, four, nice, three, good. Keep your left heel up. And last one, good. Then put your right foot down, come back in. Then one, press out, left heel. Left toes next to your right knee. Okay, then come back and we kick out. Just breathe, right heel up. Control. So keep your weight in the center. Don't let it go. Okay, breathe. Good. And three, two, and one. Out, keep it straight and up. Half the one down and up. Nicely. Control. Good. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Then put your heels together and lower your heels down. Just to gently bounce. 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 Breathe. Good. Five. Four, three, two, one, and heels down. Stretch out, still keeping your uh, Pilates V. Breathe. Good, then bend your knees and come back in. Okay, grab the straps with your hand. If you want more challenge, you can have a short one, or otherwise keep your long. Low straps. Okay, so you have still red to red spring, so it's a little bit heavy side. Okay, so just you know, listen to your body. Keep your lower back really pushing down, and bring your right leg into the tabletop. Arms are nicely straight up. You can see your back of your hands. Okay, then the left leg coming. Okay, you can bring your both knees together or just separate it and hip width aligned. Okay, it's up to you. And lower your hands down as you inhale. Then exhale, lift your hands up. So still you can see all the time when you lift your left hands up, your ha uh, back of your hands, you have to see. Okay, and lower and up. Then three, good, two, and one. Keep your elbows down, then bend your elbows straight and bend and straight. Good. And four, three, two, and one arm is straight. Reach your arms up, put your feet down. Just to relax, okay? Reset everything. We're gonna come back again, same position. Okay, so hands up. Both legs into the table, top one by one. Then lower your hands down. Okay, now bend your elbows again. Then same, so you're gonna straighten your arms. Same time, curl your head and shoulders up and reach your legs straight. Then down. Breathe, pushing your navel in. Good. And if you want more challenge, you can just hover up the Elbows, and three. For me, it's too heavy, then I'm gonna stay here. And the last one, up. Stay here, open your arms to the side and squeeze. Open your arms to the side and squeeze. Four more, pushing your navel in, keep your head up. Two, and one, good. Then bend your elbows, put your feet down and the arms up. Table top again. Okay, this time you're gonna both knees together. Okay, then lower, so, both, so keep your arms straight and lower your hands down, then curl up, legs straight. Okay, then we gotta do both arms and legs, same time as open to the side and close. Open, close. 
three, good, two, and one. Then this now, you're gonna circle both arms and legs, same time. Two more this way, keep your head up, and we're gonna reverse. Just the direction, switch, and the two more. Good, keep your tailbone down, and good. Reach your arms up, put your feet down, put the straps back into the pegs, and twist your knees, and stretch the back. Good, and go to the other side too. Breathe. Great, then now getting on your side, you can have your head completely down or have your hand to support. Put your top foot on your uh, foot bar, okay? Then make sure your legs are hip width and engage the bottom side of the waist, you're not collapsing. Okay, the whole foot completely down. Okay, then kick out. Make sure your hips are square and come back in, out, and in, okay? If you need, just adjust the position, okay? So your heel kind of like connect with your sit bone, okay? Bottom foot is like not, it doesn't, doesn't touch anything, okay? Then three, two, and one, then now halfway come back in, then tighten your glutes and force out 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, kick out and come back in. Turn out wide, then kick out and come back in. So without rolling back your hip, okay, so find your range to work with your body, good, breathe, and three more, two, and kick out, then halfway come back, so using the good, and eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, and kick out, and coming back in. We're gonna switch side. Same thing. So you're gonna turn the lower the headrest down if you like. Okay. So make sure your position is square foot, square shoulders. Your knee, uh, hip waist parallel to the floor. Kick out. Whole foot is attached on the foot bar, ideally. Okay. Breathe. Kick out, in, good, and four, three. Tighten your core and kick out and halfway come back and pause out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and kick out and come back in. Turn out without rolling back and push through your heels using the side of your glutes. Breathe. Good. So engage your side of the core also. And three. Good. Two. And one. Come back halfway, then pause. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, and kick out, and slowly coming back in. Good. Then now we're gonna turn around, then take the straps, and put the straps over your knee. You can have short straps over or long one. It's really up to you, okay, then your hips are close to the shoulder wrist, 
Then put your hands back over your head and pushing your navel in. You're cutting up with the support of your hands, okay? But you're not bringing your elbows in, just nicely wide. Your hands are against your head, your head is against your hand. So first start to 90 degree away, then pushing your navel in and just gently pull and lift your head a little bit more up. Okay, keep pushing down your navel and slightly bring your knees towards your head, head towards your knees. Okay, but you're not using your hands. Your hands are just against your head. Breathe and pull. Breathe and pull. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Then you can just... Have a rest a little bit, okay. Then come back again. Okay, so now we're gonna do a, a twist, okay, like crisscross. So pull your right knee, then twist your che le left chest towards your right knee and coming back. And pull and switch, twist and in. So other leg is slightly away but not too much because you're holding this strap. Good, so up and twist, up and twist. Pull your knee, good, nice. Two more each, breathe, twist. Keep your tailbone down and twist and coming back to the center and just slow down, breathe, good, and now, okay, and now you're gonna take the, coming up and the straps out, okay, then we're gonna, so, lay down on the side again, this time you are, uh, like reverse position. All right, then your legs are between your head, uh, shoulder rest. Okay, so your hands supporting your head. Okay, just adjust the position. So then your uh, top hand is attached on the foot bar. Okay, so then really holding nicely straight. Okay, then you're gonna just press out, okay. So adjust the position that works for you, for your body, okay? Press out using an arm, but your shoulder is not, your shoulders are not hiking, okay? Control, worry. Okay, let's do two more. Out, in, okay, then now press out. Halfway come back and stay there. Then lift your top leg up and close. Lift and close. So try to keep your carriage as steady as possible. Three, two, and one. Tighten your core, then now make a circle. Breathe. Three, two, one, and reverse the circle. Meanwhile, you're holding this carriage as steady as possible, and one more. Yes, then lower your feet down, bring back in. Okay, you're gonna switch side. So it's a bit about your shoulder and scalp work. Okay, nice you holding, both legs straight. Okay, engage your side of your core, okay? Then kick out and in, so adjust the position. Breathe. Good. So without hiking your shoulders, you must feel more on your arms when you're pressing out and in. Nice. Good. And three more. Two. And one. Halfway come back in. Then lift your legs up and cross. Breathe, try to keep your carriage as steady as possible. Three, two, and one. 
Good. Halfway up, then make a circle. Breathe. Good. Three, two, one, and reverse. Nice. Five, three, two, one. Reach and down, then coming back in. Good. Then we're going to come back again. Okay, so then I'm going to push hands against the shoulder outside. Okay, then press the carriage out, same time. Okay, okay, then you're going to hold the shoulder rest nicely, your hips are up, legs are aligned. Okay, then you're going to just lower your hips down, articulating your spine, then kick out. Then lift your hips up, then come back in. So your heels are nicely attached and lower your hips down, then kick out. Then lift your hips up, then bend your knees and come back in. And lower your hips down, activating your spine and coming back up. Just feel your spine to lower and press out. So your arms are just holding this shoulder rest, you're not pushing. Good, just one more this way. Okay, feel nice articulation of your spine. Then coming back in. Then now we're gonna just reverse, press out. Then lower your hips down. Then coming close, then nicely lifting up. Lower down and press. And coming back. So this is a pretty advanced movement. To be too much, you can skip it. And we're gonna do that. After that, we're gonna do feet in straps. So, okay, just nicely articulating your spine to move smoothly. And one more. And coming back in. Good, then shimmy up, shimmy up, shimmy up. Good, then put your straps into the foot. Feet, okay. Have pierced this V, heels together, toes apart, then bend your knees, then kick out, bend and kick out. Breathe. Good. So make sure you have a stay neutral spine, then kick out and open and cross, bend, kick out, open, cross, bend. Kick out, open, close. So without losing the, you know, the connection of your core and hips. Good. So keep your your weight centered. And one more, open, close, and coming back in. Now straight out. Still have Pilates V. Then bend your left leg and. Your right leg going to the side. Feel nice stretch. You can just pull this st uh, strap gently to have more stretch. Good. Then coming back to the center, switch side. Gently pull. Good. Then both feet together, lifting up. So flex your ankle, lower your heels down. Lift your heels up, heels down. Without moving your lower back, so keep your lower back steady. And three, two, and one. Lifting up both legs. Still keep flexing your ankle, then grab the straps, stretch out, breathe. Good. Okay. So for advanced people, I'm gonna do a short spine. So coming back into the Pilates V position again. Okay, then we're gonna lift our legs up towards the ceiling and pull your navel in and lift your heel, hips up 
Okay. So Rikyo sits one up towards the thing and same time bends your knees. Okay, your carriage are completely closed. Okay, then now pu pushing your navel in and roll back down without hitting your spine, then kick back out. Lift your heels up, then pull your navel in and lift your hi hips up. Close the carriage completely. Bend your knees while keep hip bones, sits bones up. Okay, then with control, you're lowering down your hips. Then once your tailbone is coming down, you're gonna kick out. One more. Pull your navel in and lift and knees down and slowly control. Control, control, then kick out. Okay. So then we're gonna just make circles with your legs. Breathe. Just enjoy this nice smooth movement. Good. And we're gonna reverse. Good. And four more like that. Skip tailbone down. Two. And one. Great. Then you can just bend your knees. Take the step out one by one. Okay, then slowly close the carriage in. Get just slightly slide down yourself, then bring your knees into your chest. Curl your head up, make an egg stretch. Still keep pushing down your tailbone. Breathe. Keep your shoulders away. Nice. Okay, then put your low heat feet down and turn on your side. Or you can do teaser up to come up. And we are done for today. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this workout. And if you like the workout, please give it thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you soon in my next exercise video. Bye.